Yes, I know, this video is very long by my standards. But in an effort to continuously outdo myself, I have included a snippet of life from every month of this year so we can keep track of where we were, where we've been, and how far we've come. So, we will cast your mind back to January 2021 when there was a lot more uncertainty and just watch the progression through the year. All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another uh, video, I guess. So today, we're gonna do a quiet period 100% speed run. So, as you don't know what quiet period is, uh, at Brown, at the start of the semester, everyone has to basically self-quarantine for about two weeks. Now, we're, and we're not allowed to really leave our dorms, except for three well, slash four occasions. So, you can leave your dorm to either get a COVID test, which you have to do twice per week, to pick up your mail, or to, you know, get food from the dining hall. A lot of those are actually pretty essential, so if you couldn't do those, that would be bad. But the reason it's a 100% speedrun is because I'm going to go do all three of those things in the same trip. And so this is the south side of campus, the side lies over there, you can see it. Uh, so the first important speed text in the speed run are the shuttle stops. So you have to take the shuttle, which is the fastest way of travel. Uh, if you don't, if you're not taking the shuttle, you're missing out. So we're going to use this shuttle stop about two blocks from my door to get to the the OMAC, the testing center, which returning viewers may remember from the previous video. Yeah, okay, we're here at this shuttle stop. Just in time, shuttle's coming now. Oh. Okay, so the first part is done. Uh, I have to go back to the, uh, the middle of campus for the other two things. So, had a pretty fast test. Uh, had a very nice uh, check-in person. And also, I saw my roommate from last year, but he didn't. I don't think he saw me, so Toby, so if you're seeing this, uh, then you were like talking to someone on the phone, so it's okay, I forgive you. And also, I'm wearing my watch for the first time in like, wait, I haven't worn my watch since last year. Wow. And I guess you guys are getting a bit of a tour. This is also, we're building something here, I guess. It's a wellness center and residence hall. I don't know, it looks like it'll be done soon, probably even before the music performance building. That was a red light, I just went past, but there was a car that was turning, so that was fine. Uh, yeah, you gotta do a few red light skips if you wanna go fast. Oh. Up ahead there, you can see, that's the mailroom line. The mailroom works fast, so I'd say we should be there for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, I'm revising my estimate. I've been standing here for about 4 minutes and we haven't moved. So, uh, I think this will not be a world record run. Literally 42 minutes later, we got a letter and two 
Paul tank views. You guys are gonna have to do a live unboxing when we get back. But uh, <laughs> I retract my statement about the mailroom being passed. Just an extra you know, slap in the face. They ran out of a chicken finger when I got there to lunch, so we had to wait an extra 10 minutes. So I can officially say this is the slowest speed run of all time. Jeez. And time. Oh my god. Come on. I don't even, I don't even want to see what my final time is. It's gonna be really bad. Okay. One minute, 15 seconds. For a 40 minute. Okay, hey everyone. It's a very special episode of whatever this is. Because I am outside on the main green. And it's 1 a.m. And I'm outside. This is my scooter. Now, I know in a previous video I said you should never record while scooting. But this shirt that I'm wearing is a front breast pocket. So that means I'm gonna be really cold because my jacket's not gonna be zipped up. But you guys might be able to. It'll be like a really bad GoPro. Oh, sorry, there's so much snow. And so in February began what I would call the scooter art. So when I got my first paycheck from TA, which is actually the letter that you saw in the last video, the electric scooter was the first thing that I bought with my own money. So I took it absolutely everywhere, which you know, included getting COVID tests or going to the mailroom or <laughs> picking up meals. And sometimes I would take it out on joy rides like this one. You should know that that was very cold. All right, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna test out the dumbest idea I've ever had. So in the last video, I really wanted to uh, record while riding my scooter, and in the last 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 video before that too. But I had to put my phone in my breast pocket because you know, I couldn't hold it, and so. I created a contraption. I don't even, oh, there's a light right here. Okay, so. Contraption to allow the phone to be uh, to be held while I am walking or riding. So the phone just slots right into the stupid milk carton to the coal I cut out with a knife. And now it's like cut off the rest of the carton with a knife. And then it's attached to a fan clip to clip that normally attaches like a hand fan. Yeah, so needless to say, that contraption did not work. So here's a video instead of, you know, in April going to Andrews. Wait, April? What happened to March? Well, it was the middle of semester and it was very busy. So uh, this is the only video I took during the entire month of March. <laughs> this is the greatest cake I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, so that was us giving Michael a pho birthday cake, complete with candles and everything. So, I will tell you right now, almost certainly, that carrying this lemonade is not gonna work out. It's gonna, it's gonna spill out whenever I hit like anything. Because the stupid. Cap doesn't actually close all the way, so there's a there's a gap for you to drink it. But as for the actual school year, I took four and a half classes, which was pretty stupid of me because I don't really need that extra half class for anything. Got another speed bump. Ugh. Where I can see only some of the lemonade has spilled out, so that's a good sign. It was, if I can recall correctly, one history class, one atma class, and two and a half computer science classes. 
Oh yeah, and we also played a bunch of tournaments online, and we won the ICT undergrad title, so that was nice. Okay, we're just putting up our vehicles for the summer storage. I think I already said this in the last video, but... Also, yeah, we're riding without helmets. Do not do this. Wait, also don't ride on the sidewalk. Don't do this either. So, if there's one word I would use to describe the semester, it would probably be exhausting, especially towards the end where everything was being compressed into the shortened semester and we didn't have any breaks or anything and living in grad center certainly didn't help but we had some good times I mean, we went to the zoo once and I also went to Boston which I don't think we were supposed to do but uh, that's fine and we lived through it as Hari says well, then that's it it'll be the end of this weird semester <laughs> In May and June, I saw a lot of high school friends who I hadn't had the chance to see in a while. So we all got tenders. <laughs> we, we all got mild tenders, I'm, Did you? Yes. We all got mild tenders. Dude. <laughs> and we all got fries. Well, I didn't. I know, he got beef. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I, never mind, Walter's the only cool one. Yeah, I had fries like yesterday. I'm eating those. I'm long. Huh? This is a long... I got bitty here. Eric, can you show her? Whoa. Eric, can you spin us? Dude, this is gonna be tough. Ah! <laughs> okay, stop, okay. stop, 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 stop! <laughs> I'm so dizzy! <laughs> I'm so dizzy! Other way! Oh, nice. Wait, can we still get that space there? No, we do, we do, we do. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh. Push the 59 out, push the 59 out. You need to put the 59 in more. In the, in the back, in the back, in the back. Wait, why in the back? Wouldn't you be smarter to not have it in the back? No, because you can flip it around after if you want. The issue is the ADA is going to like fall. No, this is what you need. It's like... Oh! Whoa! No, we no, that's, easy that's not happening. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, we'll fix it after. Get in there, okay. No. It's fine, it's fine, I said I'd fix um, it after. I'm on a Okay, it's the end of July, and I've barely done anything. So, uh... This is me, uh... Driving, I guess. So you can see I'm a stoplight, so I'm not like... You know, recording while driving because that would be bad. Just came out of Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle there. I don't even can see it. There it is. Just my order. Uh, this light takes stupid amounts of time. So I was like, okay, I'm, I have time to do anything I want, including get out my phone and start recording and plan out what I'm going to say and say it. Sometimes this light takes like three minutes. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna drive while recording. Nice. So there's one more stop. Oh god. Ah. So there's another stop. There's a police car. I hope he didn't see me like doing this. Good afternoon. Welcome to Darker. What can I do for you today? Hello, I had a mobile order. Um, is the name Walter? Yes. Alrighty, you can come up to the first window. Thank you. Wow. I guess there's no one uses the app. I forgot to put my mask on, but uh, yeah, the guy, <laughs> the guy in the drive-through window, he had his mask on, but didn't even cover his nose, so it was pointless, anyways. So you know. Yeah, it's throwbacks to my like Christmas special from like 2018. I think that was one where I had my iPad and I just. It was like up against the front dashboard 
and that's how I was able to get the time lapse of us driving around. Shout out to Jeremy. So despite what I said earlier, July was actually a busy time for me. Uh, I was TAing a class, the same class that I TAed in the spring. I was taking a class, and I also interned at MLB, and it was all remote. And this was like you know, parts of May, all of June and July, and parts of August. So yeah. Also, a special shout outs to David, Chris, and Eric who left while I was working at MLB. <laughs> they helped me learn a lot through the process. So yeah, overall, the summer was quite productive. And of course, there were a few glorious months where I can watch baseball whenever I wanted. All right, there's this one more section that I wanted to record, because this, this part is absolutely beautiful. It's like a really big downhill slope, and you can see like forever. I don't even know, I don't even think I've been to any of those places, but you know, how far you can see. Especially in the fall, um, when the leaves are changing color, there's just like a whole landscape, you know, a whole palette. All right, so this is the 7th of August, I think, I'm not sure. And the first day of ACF Nationals, and I'm here in Skokie is just outside of Evanston, which is just outside of Chicago. And I woke up early, so I decided to take a morning walk here on this nature trail, which you know is like nature, maybe, on this side. And then like a car dealership, a highway, and a, oh, there's an abandoned railroad there too. <laughs> but it, it's a pretty nice trail. But hopefully, we do well. I have, we have some pretty high expectations going in. Oh, we want to win, be undergraduate champions again, and I'll well, just meet lots of people and have fun. I have no idea, like what this place is used for. It's just, it's one of those places you see that's solely for the purpose of having these electrical towers. I guess there was a bridge that. <laughs> a bridge that I took earlier. I think this is it. No, well, no, there was another one, but it's just a wooden plank in the middle of nowhere. And there's some dew, so now my bottom, my pants are wet. Nice. Here we are, the Northwestern Technological Institute. I'm not sure what it's called. See, there's people there who are waiting because they cannot go in. Actually, they are going in now, so ignore what I just said. But yeah, this is... I don't know, what do they call, like, Jimenez Hall? Like, the Quiz Bowl Mecca? Yeah, I think so. This could be the Quiz Bowl Jerusalem. <laughs> Quiz Bowl uh... yeah, I guess we're just gonna cross it. Yeah? I just want to cross the street here. There's no crosswalk. And we did do all of those things I said we were going to do. You know, we won undergrad. I met a lot of people. I had a lot of fun. And this was, you know, the first in-person event of like any kind in one and a half years. It was my first in-person nationals. So I'm glad that it lived up to the expectations that we had. And of course, could not have done this without my teammates, you know, Anson, Michael, and Jason. Yeah, it's so weird, empty. So, I'm once again going to the practice room. That was either the last, no, that was two times ago. Wow. So long. Uh, no scooter this time because I live about one block from the from the practice building. So I can go whenever I want. I don't even have to take the shuttle either. Uh, 
Uh, I live in a uh, young orchard, which is like the far south eastern corner. It's like far away from everything except this. Did I already say that in a previous clip? I don't remember. Good thing I can still swipe in. There are people here. are actually practicing. Uh, I'm not practicing for anything in particular. I'm just here to play. Play this. What did I play last time? So true. Uh, they got air filters for every, every like these small rooms. They even have a they even have a individual like like Sweet rooms and living rooms, bedrooms. That's what that's what it's called. But you know, things are normal, as normal as they can be. So, in true middle of the semester fashion, I this was the only video I remembered to get for the whole month of October. Uh, it's of the famous Water Fire Festival in downtown Providence, and as you can see, there's tons of people gathering in the same location. Wow. Yeah, besides some restrictions at the beginning, there were in-person classes, club meetings, dining. So I think my assessment was largely correct that it was a normal semester. All right, it's uh, November 28th, I think. It's a Sunday of Thanksgiving break. So this is the last day, we have class tomorrow. Yeah, I need a November video, so this is what I'm doing. Anyways, uh, I guess I can take this time to talk about, you know, what classes I'm taking. Because, wow, they're almost over, actually. We have, like, two weeks of classes left. Maybe not even two weeks. And, you know, finals, final projects, final papers are coming up. Ah! Spill some of my tea. That's okay, because I'm wearing gloves. Oh, yeah, classes. So, um, I'm going to sit right here on this bench. Can I put this on the bench? Wait, I have an idea. Right, as I was saying, this is gonna be a terrible idea because uh, there's gonna be tons of cars in the background and stuff. You won't be able to hear me, but I'm only taking four classes this semester because, you know, it was like transition back to in-person and also I'm TAing a class. Uh, I can start with that. The TA class is the formal proofs and verification. It's a lot about logic and uh, we use proof assistance to you know formally verify the correctness and soundness of programs and logic and stuff like that so it's this is the first time it's being taught at brown so you know i couldn't have possibly taken the course but they did the tas and the professor was like do you have you know experience with this type of material and you know of about there's new algebra and functional programming and abstract math, sort of. I said yes, so I was chosen. The only CS class I'm taking is a theory of computation. You know, it's about like, you know, P equals MP and like you know, regular languages, Turing machines, all that theory stuff. So you know, you never actually have to write any code, which is nice. And the only Atma class I'm taking is. 1690, which is a computational probability and statistics. And that one, you do have the right code, but it's like MATLAB, so it's not real programming. You learn about Monte Carlo and simulation, approximation, all that stuff. It's usually, it's very useful and interesting, and I like the class. And then, you got a history class about the American Revolution, which goes back to the class I took last semester, last year, about the early American Republic. So that was that class was history of 1502, this one's 1501, and it's uh, with the same professor. So, and the last class I'm taking is 
computational cognitive neuroscience. It has ties with, you know, AI and deep learning, but I actually haven't taken those CS classes yet, so I don't know those connections yet. But, you know, we build networks and, you know, learning and memory, that sort of thing. All right, hello, this is a terrible vlog because you can't see anything. And also it's the exact same route as the as the last one, as the November one. Uh, today is December 4th, it's a Saturday. I just came back from taking the Putnam exam. Oh man, what an experience. Uh, I, mean, I think I got two questions in the first part. So I was like, wow, this is going great. I just matched that performance and I'll get like 40 points and I'll be an honorable mention. And then I don't think I got anything on the B part. Like maybe like one point. Yeah, as long as I get more than 16 points, which is what I got two years ago, then I will consider it satisfactory performance. Exams are coming up. Uh, the time to make this video is coming up and I got what like three weeks and like week or two weeks until I uh, until I leave school you know the next week this next week when I have papers and projects and well not finals yet but there'll be a lot of stuff to do so which is really good that I spent a whole day taking a math exam, especially the last three hours, I did basically nothing. Been here in sales, this is where we're having our final. There's like a huge beeping noise that's happening. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, are you ready? I have all these printed, it's this open book, so all the Pass exams and also, also other pass exams. The ones I took and also the ones from previous iterations of the class. You guys can see this. It's fine. You can look at the solutions. No, actually, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with school. Forever. So true. Okay, I submitted that. So now I'm actually fully done. But yeah, back to the regular schedule vlog okay all right are we actually are we gonna play lee actually <laughs> if you're down i'll, I'll go change okay <laughs> oh my god it's a shuttle we're gonna get on the shuttle yeah, it's the end of the year vlog Okay, yeah, yeah. Michael says going through Barris and Holly is faster because I don't know, we, we take a diagonal through the building. Is that one? Yeah, also like four. True. Oh, I don't understand. There's like, there's like something, it says something different every time. I think you can change it, right? Like the VCG. Oh, actually, yeah, I feel like I saw someone post about this. Okay. I see. I don't know, what is this? Stolen. I think there must be somewhere to connect to it. That's a shame this part of the building is so much cooler than the other part. Like this part? Yeah, this part is so much cooler than that part. Yeah. This part sucks. I imagine if we had like quiz board from this part. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. We're not going over there then. Why don't we go here? This is the route? This is the route. That's good. See, we took the diagonal through this. That means it's faster. All right, real quick. Over there. Oh, well, I can't see it. It's around the corner. That's where we had quiz bowl practice. And also putting them practice that I went to like twice. You don't really practice with a Putnam, you know. 
you're, you're gonna practice for quiz bowl either. You just learn more things. If you're wanting to be better at quiz bowl just for the sake of being better at quiz bowl, it's not really. I think that is not a good use of your time. So yeah, I'm thankful for all my friends who are also you know, getting through all this together. You know, old friends, new friends, uh, friends who were on leave for part of or all of last year and I wasn't able to see. Friends from before college, friends from college besides Brown, and also friends from all the clubs and classes that I was a part of this past semester. Hey, you know, we'll be back. That's the first, oh yeah. <laughs> and that's the first time since like freshman year that I've been able to say that. You know, coming back to a room that, or leaving a room, knowing that you'll come back to it. Wow, filming on location in the airport. Now I feel like a real, real vlogger. <laughs> yeah, this is the very festive uh, Providence Airport. It's pretty small I'm at the end of the runway or the end of the terminal. A few other people here, but yeah, I actually ran to my <laughs> history professor here. He's somewhere over there. I can see him. He's actually pretty close. Maybe he can hear me, but. Yeah, this semester, uh, it was, it was good. As I told my Uber driver earlier, uh, you know, I learned a lot. I regained what it was like to be in college again. It's nice to be able to actually, you know, do things at in-person events tournaments, going to Boston like three times in the same month, all that. This semester was also a lot more real with, you know, sometimes cooking for myself and having an internship lined up for the summer already. Yeah, I wanted to do this so I don't have to use the, the bad mic on my voiceover, but this is, this is fine. I didn't, I didn't plan I was going to say. You know, it's not like I, I script videos or anything. Okay, the voiceover can fill can fill me in. You can't even tell when I'm talking and when the voiceover is talking. And with other responsibilities like managing a club or hiring people and interviewing them as a head TA. Yeah, thanks to everyone, whether you were in this video or mentioned in this video or not, for making this a special and memorable year. Yeah, despite everything. You know, at the beginning of the semester, I talked with someone else about how I still feel like a freshman sometimes. What with, you know, never having had a spring break or even being on campus at all in May. But I think this semester has really helped me come to terms with what could have been. And yes, it sucks that we lost out on those experiences, but it's up to us to make the best out of the situation find new ones. After all, we are the masters of our own fate. I am the captain of my soul. But I hope you've all enjoyed this look back on a transformative year. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you same time next year.